Welcome to the Air Resolution on the Web export tutorial. Today, we will learn how to export the list of clearinghouse errors and warnings from the Air Resolution on the Web site generated from your current enrollment file submission. Select the receipt date to view the Air Resolution report. Here you will see your Air report along with the errors and warnings that were generated from your current enrollment file submission. You can download a spreadsheet of errors and warnings from your current file submission. This downloaded list can be saved for audit purposes and can also be leveraged to update your institution's student information system as needed. Select the Download Error Resolution Report button. Please note, the errors and warnings that you see listed at the time of selecting the Download Error Resolution Report button will be the errors and warnings that are downloaded on the spreadsheet. So, as you work through the errors and warnings, the errors and warnings that are actually listed on the downloaded report may change. Once you have downloaded the errors and warnings that you wish to retain from your error resolution report, you will be presented with a spreadsheet with four different tabs. This first tab, Instructions, provides you an outline of the report as well as what type of information each tab contains. We highly encourage you to read the instructions under the Instructions tab in its entirety. The next tab, Submission Info, provides you general submission information of your current enrollment file submission, a link to our programming and testing guide for your convenience, as well as a timestamp of when this errors and warnings spreadsheet was downloaded and by which user. You are also provided with a breakdown of the errors and warnings that were exported at the time of download. This next tab, Errors Resolution Report, provides you the records that have been flagged with an error, along with which error code they were flagged with, during the time of download. You can compare the program level information with previously submitted program level data, which includes the program begin date, program enrollment status, Program Enrollment Status Effective Date, Unreported Program Begin Date, Unreported Program Enrollment Status, and Unreported Program Enrollment Status Effective Date. Please note, only one error will display at a time for a record, with the exception of error codes 29 and 1568. Also, this spreadsheet should not be used to correct data present on your error report to be submitted back to the clearinghouse, as errors and warnings must still be corrected on the error resolution site. The final tab, Warning Resolution Report, provides you the records that have been flagged with a warning. Students with more than one warning will be listed multiple times on your downloaded report. Next to the warning codes, you may see fields highlighted in yellow. A highlighted field indicates that this field is edible on your error resolution report for the associated warning, though this may not necessarily mean that an adjustment needs to be made. Here, you can compare the program level data submitted on the current submission with program level data previously submitted, which includes the program begin date, program enrollment status, program enrollment status effective date, unreported program begin date, unreported program enrollment status, and unreported program enrollment status effective date. If on your exported list you see the number sign populated under a field, this simply means that your column width may need to be expanded. Once you have concluded downloading the errors and warnings you wish to retain from your error resolution report and have completed resolving the errors and warnings, you may select the I am done button to return your file for processing. Once the I am done button is selected, you will no longer be able to select the download button. For questions or for additional assistance with the error resolution export, please contact School Ops at studentclearinghouse.org and include error resolution export in the subject line.